Well, my good friend, it is not every day that a lost soul, reptilian infected kid, uh, suicidal, all the way suicidal, uh, is trying to kill a former president. So I decided to uh, make another video that would uh, clarify my vision and help many, many people to gather the golden keys to what it means to be human. But before I get into the newsletter, let me explain something to you. There is no difference between your mind, my mind, the one of Hitler, Einstein, or anybody else for that matter. It is a computer stuck in a body structure, so it's protected. Got the same weight, same density, same wiring. What's different is the program. What's different is called the UCI, or Unique Celestial Identity. It is something you choose before you reincarnate on this dense physical world. Something that makes you totally and completely different than anybody close to you. You're related to your family 150% genetically. You even look like your mom or your dad. However, you ain't going to think, behave, create, or have the same faith as any of your closest family members. And that's why I'm trying to bridge, to bridge the, the possibility of realizing that your mind is nothing else than a computer which is reacting to the universal mind. And this process electric, unseen, mysterious, wonderful, God-like energy that is striking your brain endlessly at every second of your waking life is a miracle. But because you do not see it, mostly because you're not educated on the subject, uh, it could be quite difficult to assimilate or even accept. It's very different from my student who took the time to study with me. So this is challenging neurologists, brain surgeons, psychiatrists, psychologists from all walks of life, which end up incidentally, <laughs> you know, looking for the keys, for the answers to what it means to be human for my cosmic work. So it's, Kind of a, an accomplishment, no end, they kicked me out of school. I was only 14 years old. And my teachers, those idiots, <laughs> said that I would never speak English, I would never write. My gosh, well, they are wrong. I never took a class of English. I never learned English. I picked it up. But it's a gift. Well, they have the gift of the gap. I have the moon in Gemini. What do you expect? <laughs> the messages of the gods, if it's positive, or the lord of the thieves, if it's negative. All right, so let's go and check this newsletter. It's called Thomas Crook Suicide, a born killer mind exposed. It brings me some memories that I would explain pretty painful, as a matter of fact. But... Um, you know, it's critical for you, as always, take the time to read, because you may assimilate my work better by reading than by listening. You may be audible and not visual. People appreciate or assimilate information in a very different way. This is based to the Mercury location. If your Mercury is on an air sign, you're going to be fast and intellectual and a natural communicator. If he's in a water or earth feminine sign, then you're going to be a little bit more shy, a little bit slow to learn, to assimilate information. So, so there is reasons as to why you are who you are, you think the way you think and the way you reason. There's reasons also, astrological reasons to why you could be very religious or a skeptic born. Or you could be choosing a very specific political route because of your stars. If you, if you got a, a lot of water, a lot of earth, then you're going to be a conservative, you're going to be a religious fanatic. <laughs> That's the way it goes. And if you have an air sign, you'll be more of a rebel, a genius, or tinfoil, as people call me. 
All right, so let's move on. This video and this newsletter would explain outside of conventional accepted psychological discipline the deep psychical reasons why Thomas Crooks tried to kill former President Trump at its Pennsylvania rally yesterday. Again, if you have not, you must read this before. Read this newsletter before proceeding reading this newsletter. It's kind of number two. It's a step that I'm building to help you to build cosmic consciousness. I will repeat myself, my friend. Thomas Crook was only 20 years old and did not try to kill Trump because of political reasons or his convictions. There is much more going on under the deep water. I'm going to explain that to you. As I'm writing this news right now, millions of talking heads from all walks of life, CNN and Fox, on radio and all television, are trying to figure out what happened yesterday. The FBI and well-read profilers who were all traditionally educated are still investigating his motive and wasting millions of dollars trying to figure out the killer's mental state. Now, all of those people are depraved of cosmic consciousness. In other words, they never studied the astrology with me. And they can only use the five limited rational human sense to figure out Thomas Crook's motives. Knowing nothing of the human UCI, unique celestial identity, what the hell is that? Click on it, read it. It is simply impossible for you to do so. Meantime, Trump, including Biden, in his national address a while ago, both suggested that the party to turn it down. Again, both do not know that the intended assassination of Trump at the rally has nothing to do with politics. And once the investigation is over and the results comes out, you may not doubt my UFO predictive legacy any longer. What is that? Again, the live, the, the link is live. If you did not watch my UFO movie, watch it. Now, using the science of astro psychology, maybe you should become a student. If you don't want to end up after graduating knocking at my door, let me help you assimilate Thomas' cosmic identity, his legacy. While there are tremendous information available about his deep motive, I will only scratch the surface today, and I only suggest you to read all about the nettle and hidden dragon. Okay? A full life reading can only be done in a live Zoom meeting and takes both investigation and time. Of course, you're going to pay the price because you're going to hear the real thing from me. Not also, that's a fact, there is much more power in your dragon's head, which is the future where God and the universe will push you, okay? and your tail, which is the past life where you feel very comfortable. There is much more power in your dragon alone than the entire complexity of an astrological chart. Again, don't ask that to any modern astrology because you know they are loaded with mathematical junk and they are missing the entire forest of the train. All right, so all I'm trying to say, here's the book, 600-page book. Find out why Hitler did what he did, why people famous and infamous did what they did because of their dragon. In that book, you have specific dates that allow you to find your dragon or the one of your husband, your wife, your kids, and find out. But here it is, and try to understand and control the tale. It's a lot of work that I did, and it's all there for you. That's my legacy before I go. Now, realize also, until religions become absolute, and it's on the way, and the old science of divine astrology, including the reality of extraterrestrial, is accepted and reinstated in our college and university, accepted as a solid and reliable discipline, there will never be peace on Earth. You'll be sure of that. That's why I'm working so hard. So let's, let's expose Thomas Crook's mind. He was a born killer to start with. Now, in the memory of a great departed friend named Larry, I wrote The Evil of Suicide. Why did I put this link in this newsletter there? Because both Larry and Thomas were born in September with the deadly dragon still in the sign of Scorpio in the third house, which regulate the mind or the critical thinking. Both committed suicide. They're on way. 
be cautious when you read this, okay? Because it's pretty tough. You're gonna only deal with the undiluted, vexing, and very hard truth with me. So before you click and read this, be warned. I experienced it. It's really tough. So let's look at, at Thomas. First of all, you can see he has a stallion in Virgo. Virgo is all about planning and organization and detail. The Virgin Mary can always help you also with natural healing, green and plants. And uh, as a rule, Virgo eighth house, which is the house of death, is ruled by uh, Aries. Aries is ruled by Mars, which means Virgos have headaches and sinuses problem and are prone to die a violent death. And both Larry and Thomas died a violent death. Their head or body exploded. That's what you get with Mars. As far as Mars is concerned, he's right on the seventh house. The seventh house is open enemies. He's facing the public. Mars is danger. Mars is gone. Mars is violence. Mars is Germany. Mars is war. Mars is racism. Mars is aggressivity. He got it right in the seventh house. Oh, it was a time bomb. Let's move on to the critical information that I have for you. One, two, three. The tail of the dragon right in the third house. The house of thinking. It is into the deadly, most powerful, most intense, secretive sign of the zodiac, the lizard, the scorpion, the killer. Now, Scorpio rules, investigation, the police force, metaphysics, witchcraft, the FBI, the CIA, secret service, life and death, re sex, regeneration. So that means he was doomed to be killed by the police. Very unlucky with the police who took his life violently. There is so much more to discuss about Thomas. But again, you can see, can only give you a little tip. Saturn, the great depressive, the great malefic Saturn is in cancer close to his moon. So Thomas was subject to extraordinarily depressive mood. You heard of the word lunatic, moody and crabby. And in the time of a full moon, people becoming berserk, emergency service going crazy. And do you know that the cycle of the moon is 28 and a half day, which is woman cycle. Again, it tells you when women get their cycle, all crazy and lunatic, they became, I say with my wife. <laughs> so understand when you have the great malefic, the very depressive planet Saturn close to your moon sign, which regulates your emotions, which you have such a chart, you are destined to end up really, really badly. Thomas didn't want to leave. Thomas could not fight those negative energy because Thomas was not educated. And we can only thank the religious community, which calls me the devil. Okay, and we can also blame the U.S. Department of Education, who is not allowing my student and I to teach and help those kids to regenerate. If I had a child who has this type of stars, I would show him the scorpion. I would show him the beast. You say, you see that stinger? The past, jealousy, resentment, suspicion, negativity, suicidal thought, wanted to kill everything in yourself. You need to kill, cut it, kill that scorpion, get rid of the poison of the past. And instead, build the eagle. I would give this child an eagle as big as I can find. I would make him look at it, look at it. That's what you need to become. That's why you came from such a hell to fight, to die, and rebirth. Now, when the scientific community, when the religious fanatic society, okay, is taking away such a regenerative information to your children, all they're gonna do is kill themselves and take others with them. It has nothing to do with politics. Regardless of what people are saying, 
Those educated idiots have no clue what's going on. There I am, still waiting for donation and money so I can start my school and help your children. You know what? Ain't gonna happen. That's why I decided to become a boat captain. Go fishing for whatever God has left me because I did all I could trying to help society. But you know what? We're living in a society where idiots, educated idiots, like Neil deGrasse, who doesn't believe in UFO and astrology because he's not educated on that field, ridicule my work. We're living in a society where true genius is ridicule. Where true genius doesn't have any access to the exposure, to the financial backup support that they need to help your children to survive, for God's sake. Here we are. It is my curse. It is my blessing to be so knowledgeable and not being able to pass it on. That is a very, very deep mystical reason that I'm still wondering why idiots in lotteries, why moron gets $400 million and wasted in, in wrong investment and declare bankruptcies. Why rich people are greedy when they have so much money, they don't know what to do with it. They are guilty, so they give it to the church. We're going down the spill of the quicksand of deception religion. It's the price I have to pay for knowing what I know. The good news is at least you are gaining from it. But the majority of you Fred, Fred of being called tinfoil, a cuckoo, what I've been called all my life. We don't share my work. Forget about donation. Please share. Help me to help the kids tomorrow. Now, remember the moon is in uh, Scorpio today, right on the tail of the dragon of that kid. And that's why Thomas did what he did was at the worst time, at the worst place, at the worst moment, with the worst cosmic fluid, cosmic wind. He was hijacked by the reptilians, who literally took his mind, his body, and his soul, and led him to try to kill the president and being killed by the police. One of the best ways to commit suicide. Now you have the answer. Share it, please. I, Dr. Tree, would like you to sign up. Be cautious. It's time for wake-up calls. I will upgrade the newsletter as the news has predicted. Again, let's pray for all presidents. Let's pray for all the children of the world that are victimized by a religious, theist, or scientific community who are refusing Critical help, the spiritual regeneration that can help those children to survive depression, drama, an endless chain of suicide. That's where we are. God bless.